Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9, No Frills. So, I just got an Easter egg. Oh, you can eat it. <laughs> okay, it's from Corail Tombstones. Um, fine. Oh, we ate it. Oh, that was, that was, uh, it wasn't as exciting as I thought it'd be, but still, that's nice of Corail. Anyway, um, today, the first thing I'm going to do is we got a wasted radioactive, or a radioactive waste barrel, sorry. And we are going to try, here, here. Block, no, no block selected. No block selected, cool. Doesn't like it, all right. Why don't we, uh, where is it? Yeah, do one of those. Let's see if it's just hyper boxes that it doesn't like. Yep. Hyper boxes. There we are. That's what it is. So they've disabled the ability to do that in hyper boxes. That makes sense. Um, the reason that I'm bringing this up is because uh, we've had a couple of people mention that, yeah, it should still work. But I don't think anyone's using the hyper boxes. Um, we had someone on the, the Discord actually reach out and say, it does work, look, and they showed it. But I think that was for the mining dimension. So we could do everything we just did in there. Maybe even just build a box in the mining dimension of the same sort of size. And then, yeah, you could just have it, like, do this, basically. Um, the reason that you want to do this, by the way, or put this in the mining dimension, for example, is because... Let me just do that. There we go. Um, it's because the, uh, what's it called? Waste. The waste that you get from, I'll tell you what, we'll go over there. It's this one here. There we go. Uh, if we go to Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, this one. So over here, you know the stuff that's in here, the spent nuclear waste? You could just release this into the atmosphere if, if you can get it in there, but you can't, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm just going to lob these away for now. It was, it was a good try, I suppose. Um, I think at some point what we'll do is we'll get into... I don't really want to do Forbidden and Arcana today, but it's probably a good idea to do that. Anyway, I've done a load of quests between episodes because otherwise it would be boring for the, the episode structure, right? So first off, uh, which ones did I do? Oh yeah, these ones. So I made a 19 player transmitters, Nitro. It was literally just setting up all of these and uh, like setting all the recipes for these. And that was easy enough. The hardest point was the player aerial pearl. So the way you do this is you get an aerial, aerial pearl. So aerial, I don't know, how do you spell it? Oh, I'm missing an E, sorry, aerial pearl. So you get one of these, easy enough. And then you right click it on a zombie and then you get one of these and it actually says right there zombie or husk so we could have gone to the um like desert area that we've got so i did that and i made 19 of those so i had to kill 19 zombies with it which was fine and then i got i think it's still working on it now but the the batteries or the batteries there there we go so i got a load of batteries as well and i think what I might do is, uh, I forgot about this, but you do need to charge those batteries. So I'm going to grab a, no, that's not it. I'm going to grab a cube. Now we do have a basic energy cube, but I'm going to get four of the regular or, or the ult ultimate cubes. There we go. So we're going to get four of these. And probably, I'm probably just going to stick them here. One, two three and then four like that and then what we can do is we can grab batteries i think there's five there actually because there's one in the middle as well right so what we can do is we can stick this in here here and so on and so on right so that way these will all charge up i could even do something clever with like a modular router to pull out them if they're if they're full up we need to fill up one first. But these are all 2 billion FE needs to be stored in this. Oh, hello. Let me just get rid of those. There we go. So, yeah, those would be those would be good. Uh, you need these. If I do this, yeah, see, you need one that has 2 billion FE in it. 
and maybe we'll do some Ad Astra today. I haven't done any Ad Astra in a while. Well, we could do the flight module, which, which should be relatively easy. Uh, let's get a swab. What have we got there? Oh, it's a pyromancer. Okay. We'll get a swab and we'll pop into the nether and we'll try and find a... Uh, what, what, what are we doing again? Flight module and that's it. We'll try and find a ghast because then we can swab the ghast and we can make a spawner out of it. And it makes it really easy if you've got a spawner for it. So let's pop into the nether. In fact, we got another Easter egg. That's pretty good. I might actually keep hold of this. Hopefully they don't disappear. Uh, but yeah, if we go to, yeah, the Iron Spells and Spellbooks area of the nether. This is quite a good area. It's quite open. I was kind of hoping we'd see a ghast light straight away, but we do not see a ghast. Okay, I'll fly around, try and get a ghast. Hey, there's one. Thank you. So, yeah, there we go. There's another one. Did I do Return to Sender yet? Hey, no, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, um, I was just flying about and I was thinking, do you guys remember where you could get a spawner for a squid and then you could use it in the nether and it would spawn ghasts for you? Do you remember that? That was, that was awesome back in the day. You could also get a skeleton spawner, stick it in the nether and it would make you uh, uh, with the skeletons, which was really useful. Yeah, I don't know why they changed that. I don't know if that was a mod either. I just remember it in like all the packs I was playing at the time. Now, I should have done this a while back, but I'm actually going to... I just used a swab on a chicken, and I'm going to get a chicken egg. There you go. I skipped the happy birthday thing, because I've heard it about a million times, and it's getting annoying now, so sorry, but yeah. Um, so now, all I need to do is find another chicken. I mean, I could go back and make a chicken spawner, and then use this on the chicken. But I think there's another one around here. Yeah, there's one up from here, which is this direction. So I'll just do... Where is he? Down here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's some of this stuff as well. We might need this. So I'm going to take that. Um, if you're looking for the Eld wood, or Eld, uh, however you say that, wood, it is in one of these um, dark forests. So look out for that. So I've got myself a ghast spawn egg. I've got myself a chicken spawn egg. And I've got two spawners right here. Now, someone taught me this recently. It was actually on stream, so you guys might have already seen it if you watched this, the stream that we did recently. Um, but what I'm going to do is, because I do this quite a lot, right, where I add, like, you know, the, the golden apple and uh, the soul lantern and things like that, uh, I always add it to all of my, like, comparator, exactly, all of those things. I'm going to make a recipe to, I don't know, spawn a setup. So we should do that. So what I'll do is I'll go and uh, set up the spawner setup in here. And then uh, I might have to do a few recipes as well. Uh, like, I definitely need the soul lantern, right? So this one. So we need that as a recipe. We need this here as a recipe as well. So on and so on. So I'm going to need to, oh my goodness, that one's full up. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, which changes? We got 19 end exchanges. It actually was a pain in the ass because you couldn't just set up the recipe for it. I had to make them manually, basically, <laughs> over and over. For some reason, like if I do this. Oh, it works now. It wasn't working before. I have updated since, so that might be why. Yeah, it, it wasn't letting me do it. I, I clicked that. I click start and it just didn't let me do it. So anyway, um, so I've got the exchanges. I've got the rainbow furnaces. So we've got the rainbow furnace, 19 of them again. Uh, what else do we get? We got the um, ender furnace. Yeah, these things. So that th these were all used for the uh, philosopher's fuel. We do need, oh, we need a lot of awakened supremium. I will at some point do a bees episode. Now... So we, we can do a bees episode on making Awakened Supremium bees and like in Sanium bees, stuff like that. I actually kind of fancy doing that at some point, so we will do that. We need to do it anyway, right? So, oh, we've got another Easter egg. We, we've been getting a few of these. Easter egg. There we go. One, two, three, four. And I ate one at the beginning, a blue one. 
Oh, there's another one. Excellent. Right. So, I'm going to go off and do the... Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I need to go do the processing for this. All right, not going to lie. I think that's everything we need. A few of these. Like, can you get the minimum or the maximum spawn delay down? I don't know. Unobtainium. Yeah, well, we can't we can't put like loads of unobtainium in that. Anyway, this is the recipe. You've got a piece of paper, and if I do spawn, oh hello, spawner. You can see right there, I've got spawner, and uh, this piece of paper I renamed. So if you do this and you go to your backpack, for example, I've got an anvil. So pop, pop that in and you can rename the piece of paper, and that's what I just did. So I named it spawner, and I used that here, and I put it here, and that is the recipe. Now, I'm, I'm actually I'm going to do this over in the basement because it seems like the area to do it, right? Um, somewhere over here, we need an import. This is an import right there. Let's do it right there. We need an import and a, uh, crafter. Let's put the crafter up here, maybe. Right, there we go. I even put a cover on this, on this importer. But, in, in fact, nah, it's fine. We don't have to do speed or anything. But, what we can do is, uh, if I put a barrel right here, and then I put the uh, the pattern right there and then I stick the spawner in and I do spawner we can actually do a recipe for spawner and in fact before we do that get rid of that for now let's turn this to uh, the other one only work with redstone signal so it's kind of annoying that I, I put the cover on there let's take the cover off for now let's plonk this back in so now, if I do spawner and I say go off and make me one, what it will do is it will chuck all of these these bits in here. Oh, oh, that is a good idea. And then in this, we can say whitelist only uh, only spawner. Oh, and we also need to turn that back on. There we go. And the recipe that we had was no oh, thanks uh, was the spawner the the um, piece of paper right there. In fact, we see it right here. Spawner, the piece of paper with the, the exclamation mark on the end. Soul Lantern, Golden Apple, Redstone Comparator, White Wool, Conduit. Outputs the piece of paper again. And that's what it does do, because it sends all of these to here. And then it just pulls in the piece of paper. And these are all the things that we need. So we do that again. Let's do Spawner. Start. And there we go. Let's put all of the bits in for the second spawner that we've got. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is this is working. Um, what we do need to do is, if we want to set up another recipe like this, like I don't know what we want to set up, but it was really good for immersive engineering apparently. But if we want to do that, then we can do. We can put it on this right here and only pull in a piece of paper. I think that's what I was missing from the stream. On the stream, I was like. Um, I don't understand how this is working. And then we figured it out together, I think. Or well, right now, I just figured that bit out. Anyway, there we go. So we need to add that. Uh, if we do add a new one. Anyway, for now, I'm going to put these two zombie spawners down. And I'm going to use Redstone Comparator. The heck is... He, he's got, like, armor and stuff on. Do you see that? Leather armor. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to... Slap all of these on, and then we'll get ourselves a chicken. One, two, three, four. What was it? It's a chicken and a gas spawner. So the gas spawner, chicken spawner. Now, what I do with the gas spawner is uh, I want to get some quartz for the offhand. And what is this right now? This spawn range of eight and that one. Right, I might have to change that for both. So let's get, I don't know, 14 of these. Hello. Brilliant. Anyway, put that in the offhand and then 
one, two. I want to get this down to a one, and this one as well, down to one. There we go. Change this. So now, if I turn this on with a lever, I'm only going to turn on the uh, the gas spawner for now. And then we make ourselves some of these, some of these syringes. So you, oh, hello. Thanks. Okay, good. We don't have like mega punch or anything. But anyway, what we can do is we can punch this dude until this is full up. And there we go, that's full up. We've got 100% in there. And that's what you want to do, you want to punch. So we need, how many of these do we need? We need 19 of these. So we just get 19 of these. Oh my goodness, didn't need to make the shears. Okay, I figured it out again. You need to go like really quick with this. So you do one punch and then you just continually like punch it. Because that way it doesn't actually do that much damage. And then you can even swap between syringes once you're done. So like that one is done. That one is also done, damn it. Do I have like not back or something? Because I am like pushing this dude all the way back, aren't I? Right, there you go. There's a load of ghasts for us. And you know what? I did absolutely forget about the, the deep learner right there. But we should be using a deep learner for this. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing ghast will be really useful later on. But anyway, we can kill a bunch of these until this is uh, basic at least. Is it at now? Oh, it is already at basic. Okay, well, we'll kill a few more until it's at advanced. Why not? Right, for some reason, the flight module doesn't flipping work when you uh, when you try and... Look, it doesn't give you anything. It says right there. But, oh, that might be because it's using that. And that is wrong. Anyway, I made all of the, the parts myself. So this has got a recipe, so I programmed that all in. And I've got 19 module plus templates from RF Tool Utilities. I've got 19 infused ender pearls. I've got 19 of these syringes. We are going to make 19 flight modules, just like that. Although, now that I think about it, I forget if... Um, does it use one of these up? I'm not sure it does, you know. I don't think it does actually use these uh, flight modules up. So it might have just made like 19, where we only need one. I can't remember now. Anyway, let's go to Ad Astra and start doing Ad Astra stuff. All right, we're going to start with the space suit and then we're going to upgrade it. I want to upgrade it to the netherite one because why not? Should be easy. I put the um, the steel plates in, in... Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I must have just made like a bunch of them then. Okay, I'm going to grab one of these and then eh, let's do one of those. Uh, yeah, as I said before, the requester, that will just keep 64, well, a stack of each of these in stock at all times. Should make everything quicker, right? So, helmet, easy. And then spacesuit, not as easy. So we need, uh, these things. One and two. Two gas tanks. Ox, wait, what was that? Steel rods, okie dokie. Go and then there it is. Space suit, suited up. And then we want to let's get rid of the space suit from here. Uh, we want to get the netherite space suit, which we can't get yet because we need dash and ostrom apparently. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, you need ostrom, which is like I think the th second or third. Uh, is it this one? That's Ostrom, right? Yeah, yeah. So we can get... I'm guessing you need that for this. Yeah, you do. Okay, I need to set up the recipe for this then. So I'm going to do that now. Right, next thing I needed was one of these. An oxygen loader. So you stick some power in it. So you've got the power on this side. Stick some water in there. I just put one of these eternal water block down. I could have put it over here. Whatever. Anyway, uh, that turns it into oxygen. And uh, you fill up your spacesuit. And that's all you really need to do. Uh, there is a thing. Thinking about it, we could literally just go to space in our mech suit, I think. But, oh well. Anyway, now we need to actually make the uh, the rockets. So I'm going to just crack on with that now. Each one of these is uh, easy enough to make by the looks of it. Right, there we go. Made ourselves a NASA workbench. And then we just lob all of this stuff in here. Okay, it doesn't 
want to go in the places that you tell it, but it's fine. So this is how you make it, right like that. And it does like a whole buzz, buzz, buzz thing right there. You don't, you don't have to give this power or anything like that. So you just do one of those and then you get the rocket. And now, uh, which button is it? Is this one? There we go. We are holding the rocket like this. It looks kind of cool to be fair. Right, let's go back to this view. So we need a rocket launch pad. Launch pad, one of these bad boys. There we go. And I'm gonna stick it there, why not? And then you put the rocket on there. Shift right click on the rocket. You can see that there's a little tank that you can put right there. And that is for fuel. That's add Astra. Now what kind of fuel can this take? Because if it's... Actually, I genuinely don't know what fuel this can take. So we are going to have to figure that one out. What fuel can you take? What the heck is this? Displays local oxygen temperature. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to make one of those real quick. So this one, temperature is 15 degrees. Shows the time as well, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, we need to grab, okay, there's the buckets right there, oil bucket. Now what can you do with the oil bucket? Oil. Is that it? I know you have to refine this. I don't know if the fuel refinery does anything, that's the only thing. Oil, and then you get fuel out of it. Now, fuel, which is this one. Okay, it's just invisible for some reason. Okay, so you can you can do it. I just wondered. Okay, let's make a fuel refinery then. And there we go. Stick that there. This does need power as well, so... For, yeah, flux point, why not? one of these on the top and then we need to get some I've got oil somewhere uh, let's try tank yeah there it is crude oil now I don't know what that's from but there you go ah nice and we're getting some uh, some fuel out of there lovely make a basic tank. I wonder if we can just use the basic tank instead of buckets. That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Now I wonder... Yeah, it's one for one. You just need to process it as you go, basically. So there is a bucket of fuel in there. Oh, no, we don't want to go in yet. Shift right click. There you go, it's got a bucket of fuel. I'm going to get three buckets of fuel because why not, eh? One and two. One, two, there we go. Full up on fuel. Now we're gonna try it. Oh, uh, yeah, we got we got access to like our, our system and everything. Actually, let's take wait. Oh, it doesn't matter because we've got access, right? So we could have just done this anyway. Could have used uh, our system whilst we're over there. But yeah, let's do this and then we'll go in and we will blast off. Five. Four, three, two, one. Last off. Here we go. What they say? To infinity and beyond. Right, this is what you get hit with. Uh, the only place we can go is either the moon or Earth. And we can also add space stations if we wanted. So. I know a lot of people build their bases in space stations. I think that's kind of a cool idea. Uh, we're not going to do it though. I don't think this series that just sounds like too much hassle because you have to think about like air and stuff and oxygen. I can't be asked. So anyway, moon land. Okay, we are taking damage, so maybe we. Uh... Okay, once we've landed. Oh yeah, I've got F one on. That's fine, my, my mech suit is taking taking care of it for now. Oh crap, I got a I gotta press space. I forgot. You always have to press space. Otherwise, um otherwise you might explode when you land. And 
landed. Cool. Okay. F5. And we're out. Get rid of that and put that on. There you go. We're good again. Although we don't have our mech suit stuff. That's fine. Anyway, shift, click on this, and you get your rocket back. And you can punch this, and it goes away. There you go. There is... Oh, my goodness. I didn't see this before. Oh, yeah, we've got we've got flight because we've got the angel ring. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I love it. And there's the... There's the sun. There's uh, There's earth. Amazing. Oh, it's not always day here. I was trying to think of, like, a good place for always day. Anyway, what do we need from this place? We just... Oh, yeah. We need... What is it for the next one? The next rocket. Add Astra. The next rocket is... Dash. So we need to find some Dash. Now, one way to do it is to Chunk Destroy. And we might end up doing that. We get some cheese out of it as well. There's some cheese right there. Moon cheese. Not yet eaten. Ooh. Okay, that's going in the backpack. Uh, yeah, what is in the backpack? Okay, we've got the Eternal Stone. I'm going to take that out. And then what we can do is just vein mine a bunch of times. There you go. It just ate it. So that that's good now. We can put that back in. There we are. Moon Cobblestone. Okie dokie. Ooh, there's a, uh, there's a creature right there. We can kill that. What do we get? Nothing. Excellent. Aha! There you go, there's some dash. And we got 40. 40 out of one bane. And we also get moon ice. I don't really know what the ice is for, if I'm honest. Oh, there's an egg right there. Brilliant. It's pretty good though. You get like lots of um lots of iron by the looks of it. Yeah, decent amount of iron. Excellent. I'm not even gonna mine the iron if I don't need it. I am looking for dash still though, because I want quite a bit of dash. Oh, getting attacked, getting attacked. And he's deaded. I think they're the, the baddies. Uh in uh well on the moon. There's another one right there. Ow. Bye! Right, I think we're done. We've got the dash. That's all we really need, really. Um Okay. Well if that's the case. I kind of want to go in this direction. Oh, there's some dash. There's some more dash, I should say. There we go. It's quite a lot. Got quite a lot of dash right there. And we will use that to make the new rocket. Oh, oh, I've just seen this. Uh, space breathing. So you can get it on a helmet if you wanted to put it on, like, I don't know, regular stuff. But there's this from Ad Astra, so we are going to do that. I'm going to quickly make the space breathing from Ad Astra. Uh, what was it? It was this, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's get four of these. I set the recipe up for this because we're going to use it, but... Oh, what? Right, there we go. That gave us... Uh... I think it goes on the helmet. It sounds like it goes on the helmet, doesn't it? But this means that we can breathe in space and we don't actually have to make a, uh, a space suit. Okay, we'll do that then. Hey, That's good. I should have seen that before we left, I suppose. Anyway, uh, let's go and smart up some of this, uh, this dash. There we go. And then we need to get a tier 2 rocket. Oh, what's really nice is you can use the, uh, the multi-servo press to get the plates. That's a good uh, bit of integration right there. Anyway, getting the plates because we need to make ourselves a bunch of these tanks. And we also need to make ourselves a dash engine. Which is the engine from last time, but with another fan and some dash. And we're back again. Let's, uh, let's do this all again, except this time with dash. So one of those and the dash engine. And we get the tier 2 rocket. Plunk that down. And I've already... Made some more of the... Eh, there we go. So, one... Wait, what? Did that only bring out one? Oh, my bad. There you go. And it's got three buckets. 
So now we can just hop in this one and we can set sail to Mars. I think this one's Mars and then the one after that is Venus. And we need... Yes, the one after this is Venus and we need to get to Venus. Yeah, there we go. Mars. Land. Why am I taking damage? I swear I've got the thingy in my helmet. Okay, now we can see the surface. I am going to wait until around this area. Please don't die, please don't die. Okay, we're good. Woof! Why are we taking damage? I don't get it. Alright, figure it out. Let's grab these and then punch this. And then we put down another one. Mars. Got back home. Nice. Um, so what we can do now is make the rest of these. So there's like a rain acid rainproof. Space breathing we've already got. Gravity. I think it was the space fire that we needed. Oh, you're kidding. So we need Ostrom. Uh, this one we need Calorite, which is what we're going to get next. And this one is Space Boots. Okay, we're going to probably make this one. We only need the one. That goes in our boots, I believe. Yeah. And this, I think, just makes gravity normal. But we also need some Ostrom. Which uh, I believe Mars. There we go. We just need to find some, and I'll do this off camera because otherwise you'll hear the cat sound the entire time. There we go. We found some. Huh? Um, they've changed it. So yeah, you only get a hundred millibuckets now instead of a thousand. So all of my recipes have changed. Bugger. I didn't realise about that. Okay. Um, I need to change these. These need to be a hundred each instead. So yeah, there we go. Now it's now it's actually uh, it's taking all of the wasted. Yeah, they're they're all gone now. Wow. Well, at least I got like a good amount of antimatter before that change came in. Antimatter. We got thirty-one, which is enough for. There's only five, isn't it? Because you need six per. Oh, but I've already made it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay. It's just going to make make it take a lot more time. I don't know why they did that, to be fair. I suppose it's to slow the pack down, but you don't need to slow it down like that, in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, if people want to go quick, they will go quick. That's how I see it. Uh, What did I do? I got some Ostrom, didn't I? So I think it's Space Fire. Ah, yes, this one over here, we need to cancel. And then we can do that again. So this one, and then... Oh, poop. Because I, I told it it could it could do its thing again. Right, let's turn this off. Ah, you're kidding me. I don't think this works anymore because it's over a stack. And it can't get a stack in here. Right, this is the change. We've got a chest. So this is pushing into a chest because chest has got more slots than, you know, something that can only hold 64. And then we just got a logistical transporter going into the top of this instead. And I've changed all the, the config for each of these. So now it's just, just from the top, items can be. So now if we do pellet. Start. And then if we come over here. There you go, there's, there's 100 that are going through right now. Or 200 actually, that's what it's going to do. Let's pop back over here. Pop home. I think this one is... Okay, no, it's, it's all good. It's doing it now. Noise. Actually, I need to make three more. So we'll send three more over there. And then I think that takes all of the... Oh, okay, I'm going to go check on it, because why not? Uh, Ice Ice Baby, and... Let's have a look. That one, that one seems to be working. Yeah, it's got a bunch of this stuff. It's just it's going to take ages. It's very annoying. Right, there we go. That gets us the fireproof. Now, I don't know which one this goes on. Body armor. Okie dokie. And now we can actually go properly dig in. In uh, Ad Astra, or the Mars at least. Why? Why? I swear, I swear I've got all of this turned on, right? 
Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, well, I'll do this all off camera instead then. Damn it. And we're back again. We're back again for the exact same thing. So we do uh, this. Luckily, the, the rocket fins and the uh, the nose cones are the same, but there is the last rocket that we're going to need. There is another one after this. This one's chonky, though. Look at it. Wow. Yeah, there's another one after this. Uh, where did I put my tank? Backpack. Yeah. Uh, there's Yeah, as I said, there's one more after this, and that is... Um, uh, it takes you outside the solar system, I believe. It takes you to Glacio. Is it outside the solar system? I actually don't know, if I'm honest. Not sure where Glacio is. Is it is it one of the moons on uh, on Saturn or something? I don't know. I'm, I might actually look that up. I don't even know if it's a real planet or moon or whatever it is. I don't think it is. Uh, you guys could probably tell me. This is the thing. I'm not afraid to... Sound stupid because I might it might be really stupid right there, and it's there's a really obvious answer. But go for it. Tell me if I'm being wrong. I want to learn these things. That's the that's the thing, right? Anyway, um, I'm not even gonna do the countdown. Right, we got the uh, wait. What? There's two planets. This is different from what I remember. I think we need to go to Venus. Your desire. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah. Still doesn't like that, does it? Did I turn it off or something? Is there... Okay, I, I need to look this up. Is there an option for... Oh, oh, okay. Can breathe in and asteroid dimensions. Will also fill held items with oxygen when in rain or water. Requires oxygen can in inventory, which we did not know. So let's make one of these. Uh, let's do it over here. There we are. And this... Charge mode disabled. Okay, what about if we do this? There we go. It's gonna it's gonna charge up for us. Hello! Oh, we got a zombie head out of that. Hey! We are on Venus and nothing is hurting us. And we're right by one of whatever these things are. And... Go! All right, we've, we've, we've actually got enough right now, from what I can see. We didn't do the whole thing, but that's fine, because we're just going to take this. I don't think I put a waystone down. I did put a waystone down, didn't I? Where did I put it? Should be on. Ah, there it is. See it on the map. So, I got the filter in there before we even started. Uh, yeah, you need to make the um, the tanks for the, the spacesuit. And I forgot, and you need the engine. And I forgot about that. And that means that I also need an absolute ton of dash. One major advantage of chunk destroying the moon is you get a lot of cheese. Right, I think I programmed everything in. Um, what we need to do though is we need an absolute ton of netherite uh, chest plates. And we are done. We are done. Jet. Jet suit. Oh yeah, I've got one already primed. That's not what I wanted to do. Got one already primed in this one. There we go. So we got the improbable probability device. If I take this out and put it here, we get the achieve no not achievement, what they called the quest. We get the quest. So that is everything now. We've done everything for this. Awesome. Okay, well let's just make one of these then. There we go. Um, yeah, we are still actually waiting on the fluid... What is it? That one there. The fluid storage part. We could do like a double version of this, right? So the first one is generating a sand. Then we have a haunting thing, which will haunt the sand. Turn it into uh, soul sand. And then below that, we can have another one of these setups where you've got like a washer. And it'll wash the soul sand. So... You know what? I'm going to set that up now, and I'll probably set it up... I'll set it up over here. Why not? Yeah. Right, I made this monstrosity right here. So, all of these are set to as fast as possible. This is pooping out some... Uh, some sand right here. So, duh, 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 and then it'll drop all the sand. I feel like I could make this quicker if I put, like, a chest in the middle here. Okay, after all of that, it's still really slow. 
<laughs> I don't know what else to do, if I'm honest. Uh, we've got a lot of sand, to be fair. So we could just, like, slap a load of sand in there. And just let it get... Let it get, uh... Get washed, I suppose. You can see it's, like, pooping out all of the, uh, the soul sand underneath. If we right-click here... Oh, it doesn't show it, but... Yeah, it is turning it into soul sand. You can see it right there. Anyway, that's going to solve my quartz issue over time, over a lot of time. Why have I got so much quartz enriched iron? That is the question. And why is that going up and down? That is very weird. Okay, it's making a load of patterns. Why are you making loads of patterns? Why are you making loads of patterns? Okay, well, I put the... For some reason, it made, like, an absolute ton of patterns. And uh, I had to take the exporter off of um, off of this right here. If anyone else has got this set up where you got the exporter and it's putting patterns into this, it looks like it's trying to put it in there. It's failing to put it in there. I'll tell you what, I'll show you what I mean. So if I grab, like, this and I shift-click that in and then I do this... Oh, what the heck is going on? That's so weird. Right. Anyway, that's where I'm going to call it for today. We've got ourselves the improbable probability device. And uh, we did a load of stuff. I, f I feel like we did the most stuff in today's episode. This might have to be two parts. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to call it here. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And before we go, before we go, statistics. We are at, do, 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 oh, six days exactly. That is 144 hours right there. 144. Brilliant. Right, anyway, I'm going to call it there. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. See you in the next one. Bye.